retail. Oh my lord. If you've never worked it, then you need to knock that off of one of your jobs acquired while in pursuit of your passion career list. Retail is about connecting with people, helping someone find the right product for the right need. Larger pump. That's not mine. And on this specific day, I wasn't the right man for this particular job. No! Hey everyone, Johnny B here and welcome to the Chronicle Station. And today I'm here to share a story about an incident I had while working retail. Back in like 2014, I was working at Best Buy. I think it was 2014. <laughs> yeah, let's just say 2014. Anyway, not sure how they train their people now, what? but I was trained to work multiple sections on the floor. I had to learn the different brands of cell phones, computers, sound systems, television products, basically everything that Best Buy had to offer. Now, I was okay at my job, not the best, but definitely not the worst. However, this particular day took me out of commission. No pun intended. <laughs> I hate that I have to give a disclaimer before the story, but I'm going to so you guys don't think I'm a complete booty hole even though I think that I definitely was being one. So here it is. Sometimes I could be pretty damn immature. Disclaimer over. <sighs> I'm glad I got that off my chest. To be completely honest, it was a hang up on my end because the person involved in this specific event was just the sweetest guy ever. But again, my hang ups got the best of me. So let's begin. It started out like a regular boring day on the floor, going up to people to elicit some kind of response so that I can continue to look busy in an otherwise city shift. Then he shows up. Let's call him Ben. Now Ben was an older white, white, white male, probably more of the cis gender variety for all of you that demand to know his sexual orientation, even though it doesn't make a damn difference in the world. Uh, we, we don't do that here. He comes up to me and says, Excuse me, where is your speaker section? Right here. I'm speaking to you right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a good one. It wasn't a good one. Quack! Speakers are actually in the section over here. So I take him over to the section and he's being nothing short of an angel to me. He asks about my day, how I'm doing, and threw a couple dad jokes my way. An ideal customer to be sure, at least for me. I like that kind of shit. Oh and at this point, I can hear what you're thinking. Johnny B, come on, this is an ordinary dude. What could possibly be going wrong here? What could possibly go wrong? Dear viewer, just, just wait. He asked about the different types of speakers. So I'm looking for something with nice, good acoustics. A good amount of bass without going too far over budget. Sure, I would recommend the Bose, but you said budget, so I'm thinking I should pull back a little bit. So if you want something a little less expensive, then everything on the bottom shelf should take care of your needs. You can also sample them to get a feel for the sound too. Oh, I shall do that. Hey, <laughs> go for it. And then it happens. He bends over and I see it. Oh God, no. This elongated, steep, dense and massive beast of a butt crack with the pebble of sh just canvassing along the sides of the crack. The puzzling thing was, he didn't have a big butt. It was only a crack with a pebble of sh Half sweet. Now mathematically, this doesn't make any sense. Gold you ain't got the answers, man. How is this possible? fairy dust it doesn't exist this is normal this is not normal up until this point i didn't have a problem helping ben but now <laughs> no 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 <laughs> and this shih tzu was difficult oh, my Lord. i was stuck with a moral dilemma i felt violated no respect for personal boundary because at this point i was checked out the truth here is going to be a little iffy because I'm not sure if my brain saw a man wiggling his cracking my face on purpose, or if he just simply was shifting his waist as he shuffled through different stock. But my brain and my feelings recalls the former. I felt like he was doing it on purpose too, just like taunting me. And realistically, I'm sure he wasn't doing it on purpose, but dude, his crack was so poked out, I felt like I was getting hit with this thing. 
I was getting full-blown 8K images in this bitch before that kind of resolution was even mainstream. He was this close, Daddy. Staring at me. Just getting smacked around like I was one of his hoes or something. Excuse me, sir. Uh, let me go check out something. I'll be right back. I'll be here. I bet you will. So I marched into my manager's office. How can I help you, sir? I have an ass problem. Sounds personal. Not my ass, the customer's. Is she hot? Dude, I basically explained to him the situation and he just does not give a shit. Oh my lord. Well, Jonathan, this doesn't really sound like an emergency. Just need to suck it up and handle business. First of all, I ain't sucking shit. Second, I told you I like to be called John. Mm, Jonathan, I'm sorry, we're short staffing. You're just gonna have to take care of this one. I thought if I got a little street on these holes, you know, that would get him to see things my way. Yo, son, like seriously, I'm not digging this. If you feel like you gotta push the plate and I ain't eating, I'm gonna step up out this joint and do the whoop de whoop on the back and slide up out of here, cause I ain't about to whoop and nor the job, you know what I mean? Gentlemen, you are an employee and it's your job to take care of this. I'm an artist. I dance. I don't do this shit. I don't know why I became like the soup Nazi. No soup for you. But anytime I was guided into a direction that I didn't feel like was the route that I wanted to take, I usually gave off some kind of resistance. To kind of wrap this up, I told my colleague I was clear to go to lunch and asked him if he could help my customer and that he was a sweet and easygoing guy. He said sure and I f***ed off to lunch. This has kind of lingered over my head for a little while because I genuinely felt bad because I wasn't mature enough to stare at his imposing plumber ass despite his very nice personality. Whoever he's having sex with, please look past the crack and see into his being. I promise through that dark abyss, there is a heart of gold. And Ben, if you're out there, I'm sorry. And I hope you and your crack are seeing much cleaner days. So retail, have you worked it as an artist or a non-artist? Tell me, did you ever loathe the process? Did it ever make you want to pull your hair out, smack somebody? That will make you slap somebody. If so, then comment in the section below so that I know someone feels my selfish pain. Anyway, that's all for today. I gotta go get my life together. Till next time, art fans. Oh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit the bell.